assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back with another video you are watching gtech tv uh, in this video i am going to teach you how to uh, create a table in excel and do some formatting and uh, uh, write some data entry in the excel table okay so we'll open up our exercise uh, this exercise is digital literacy bag number 9 exercise number 3 the due date is uh, 1st of april 2021 uh, you have to submit this exercise in ms excel and uh, i will be using excel 2019 version if you want to download this excel you can go to my website gtechtv.com and uh, go to the software section and uh, scroll down you will find here uh, ms office pro plus 2019 i am using this version you can download it and install okay so let's move to our exercise mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, okay you have to submit in uh, this format the extension for the file should be .xls or .xlsx. This both are uh, Excel formats. You can submit in them. Okay, so we have the problem statement here. Uh, create a worksheet with the name student record uh, having the following details. So you have to create a Excel sheet uh, with this table having the student record you have to enter data as shown in the table from this row to this row and then you have to merge the cells in the first row here okay this is the second task the third task is you have to make four columns and you have to uh, write the headings as given the fourth task is create a filter on each column. You have to create a filter. You can see the symbol. This is called filter. I will show you how to do it. Fourth task uh, is this and the fifth task is uh, you have to create uh, border lines for them and uh, uh, move on to next task. Uh, you have to create a custom sort for the student class. Here you have to create a sort and then you have to save the file and submit the solution it's very uh, easy exercise uh, let's uh, start doing the exercise first of all i will open excel okay i will open a blank workbook and here you have the workbook now we will start following the uh, steps uh, you have to enter the data as shown in the table first of all so i will try to enter this student record i will type all of this uh, and forward the video in fast speed all the data now uh, our first step is done we will go to second step which is merge the cell in first row and write student record so much uh, you will select these four cells okay and then you will go to this option here you can see it's written merge and center so in these four cells one two three four 
A, B, C, D is merged. Okay, then uh, you have to create four columns with the uh, name this student. Okay, this uh, four uh, columns I have uh, already created here. Okay, now we will do some formatting. Uh, create a filter on each column name you have to create filter how you will create filter first of all select all of this after selecting all of this you have to do some formatting you will go there and middle align when you middle align it will be aligned in the middle and then you center them after doing this uh, double click if you see here plus you will see white plus sign here and if you go above you will see black plus sign just double click and it will uh, adjust these columns then uh, you have to make this student bold student record as bold you just go to B and click here or you can use keyboard shortcut control B for doing bold Okay, after doing bold, I will just uh, increase the size little bit so that you can see easily. I hope you can see it easily now. Okay, so uh, now now we will follow our next step which says uh, create a filter on each column name we will select this four and then we go here and uh, choose this filter option okay now you can see there is a, a sign arrow sign on each of the column if you cannot see clearly you can see now okay so this small sign here it's created here so this is called filter uh, now we will move to our fifth step which says apply all borders to the table so how we will create borders select them select all your table go to here in home tab under the font section and uh, you will see borders here select uh, all borders option from here so which it is done uh, let's move to step number six create a custom sort which shall sort the above data by student class so this is the student class and you have to sort this data so uh, customs uh, you will what you will do you will sort from a to z you will select this option and it will sort out the names like this so custom sort means uh, you can customize on any uh, uh, option you like so see here sort by color here there is custom sort so i am here in custom sort which will sort by student class so sort by student class I am here, uh, cell color, sold color, keep it at cell values and order as A to Z and click OK. So you can see it is uh, sorted on custom uh, sort and you can choose sort Z to A option also. So it will be sort uh, in opposite direction alphabetical order and this is from a to z so you can sort like this if you want to sort in uh, let's say on the student id you can sort from smaller to largest student id it will rearrange all this data to smallest to largest and then largest to smallest uh, this is the method how you can do sorting and now i will sort on a to z so uh, as you have seen our exercise is completed now so you can uh, just save this exercise while saving this exercise you can 
uh, write the name as student record okay so you can see here dot x ls x workbook format save it on desktop and upload it on your lms and submit it so uh, guys here our exercise is completed i hope you like the way of teaching you understand everything if you have any questions you can still ask in the comment section and uh, you can download this exercise from my website and you can download the software also from my website uh, if you are new on my channel uh, kindly subscribe my channel you can go to in the playlist section and uh, you can watch uh, the videos uh, which you like uh, of uh, your uh, let's say if you are interested in more excel videos like this you can go to uh, playlist section and go to digital literacy uh, playlist and from there uh, you can watch the videos so uh, if you are new on my channel you can always subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification whenever i post the video uh, that's all for this video guys. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Allah Hafiz.